Hello all you YouTubers out there, this is Leo Hightower back up on YouTube once again with a new Let's Play project. This time, the Let's Play project is Metroid Fusion for the GBA, and this is played on the Visual Boy Advance emulator right here. I originally had planned to do a Super Metroid hack called Justin Bailey and everything, but sadly I had to cancel unfortunately due to my Super Nintendo emulator messing up and everything. So no use crying over Spilmuck, unfortunately. This is going to be a full playthrough of Super Metroid and everything, but it's not going to be a 100% playthrough, unfortunately. Because I, because even I don't know where all the items and everything are in this game and everything. Anyway, you can see we have a blank file here, so uh, let's get started, shall we? <sighs> oh, just give me one little second. Hold on. But yeah, sorry about that. I had to pause the video real quick, but anyway, let's get started, shall we? I had been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team, so I once again found myself on the surface of SR388, the homeworld of the Metroids. There's the infamous bounty hunter we all know and love. There that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. phone is going off, apparently. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Uh-oh. Then someone found a cure. Really? They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. Ah, the baby Metroid. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. That's right. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL research station. During my surgery, research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station would be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized commanding officer is something I have to bear, as it was a condition for my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, 
This is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other commanding officer. And we'll be talking about him much later on as the game progresses. But for now, after a long introduction, we can finally get started with this LP of Super... I mean, I'm sorry, not Super Metroid, but Metroid Fusion. <laughs> and this right here is one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games of all time. You have no idea. I actually got this game as a birthday gift back then. Downloaded the map, and here we go. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388, as well as your parts, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yes, it is. Now go to the quarantine bay. And we finally get to control Samus. So let's get started, shall we? We have to go to the quarantine bay and find out what's going on. That right there is a red hatch and we can't open it right now, even with missiles. The one thing I like about this Metroid game right here is that you can latch on to certain uh, ledges and stuff. You also could do that later on in uh, Metroid Zero Mission. We're in the main deck right now, so let's continue on. And we have a link right here. The quarantine bait is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Something's in the quarantine bay, huh? Well, let's go investigate. Ooh, I love this creepy, ominous music. Metroid Fusion has probably hands down some of the best Metroid, I mean, the best music in the Metroid franchise, which I like, especially for a handheld game. And whoa, we're now in the quarantine bay, and what the heck happened to all the capsules? I guess the explosion must have reached them and everything. It's an X-Parasite. Hostile creature sight. Report to navigation room. Now we gotta go back and tell the computer what's going on. Alright, uplink. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor sc scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. Huh. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. Awesome! You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. Awesome. This station is home to many spe species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. Hmm. I am already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. No, that's not good. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but... You are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Hmm. Is your objective clear? Yes, it is. Now get moving. I've released the locks on level zero hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. Now we can open up lot hatches that are blinking. And we're getting up close to the end of this video right here. 
so I'm gonna stop as soon as we reach the save room. So as far as we know, the X-Parasite presence is confirmed in the BSL, so now we gotta find out where those biosense are coming from. But I think for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save right here, and we are going to start up uh, later on and in the afternoon when I get back to this LP. So for now, this is Leo Hightower. Thank you for watching the first episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion. I will see you guys next time. Until then, I am out. Peace out, bitches. <laughs> Just kidding.